Enough is enough. That is the tone from Atlanta City Council members regarding security right near Georgia State University. Today, Council discussed heightened security following yet another shooting. It happened Saturday night. Police say a man was shot, then walked to the now closed racetrack gas station to get help. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Alston spoke with city leaders on what they want done to make this part of town safer. Council member Michael Julian Bond says the goal is to figure out how Atlanta police and Georgia State University police can patrol the area and be more visible on campus. We want to make sure that they feel safe in and around our city. They deserve to be safe. A strong message from Atlanta city leaders. Safety is priority around Georgia State University after several shootings in the last year. Council member Bond says now a coordinated effort between university and Atlanta police is key. The school police can only patrol, you know, their designated area that they are working in tandem so that there can be a quick response regardless of what is going on. Do you have any information on the collaboration with the Georgia State Police? The security concerns were briefly discussed Monday at the city's Public Safety Committee meeting. Atlanta police say they are always working with the university. We do several details throughout the year. Um, their crime suppression unit are spot on with our crime suppression units. Um, we're able to support them in whatever way they need it and vice versa. A first step was the closure of the racetrack gas station near campus where many of those crimes occurred. Bond says now the focus needs to be on whoever moves into that space, making sure they keep safety in mind and also work with police. Whatever the future use of that space is, because that, that is a privately held commercial building, what are their plans for reusing or reallocating that space? And in that most recent shooting over the weekend, a 25 year old was shot and injured. Atlanta police are still investigating at Atlanta City Hall. Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. No,